How to play with me, Peter. Today we are playing Jaipur. Jaipur is all about becoming the personal trader to the Maharaja, and you do this by competing with another trader for the most rupees in any one week, which is denoted by a round. The game is played with six goods. These are diamonds, gold, silver, leather, spice, and cloth, all of which are denoted by a colour card and a number of tokens with the rupee value of that good on them. The game starts with five face-up cards, three of which have to be camels, and two are randomly selected goods. You also have a hand of five cards. If your starting hand contains any camels, they immediately get added to your herd. Same for your opponent. On your turn, you can do one of two things. You can take goods from the face-up card, or you can sell goods in your hand to the market. Taking goods from the face-up cards can be done in a number of different ways. First of all, you could take all of the camels that are available and add them to your herd. These get replenished from the deck immediately. And it is then the next player's turn. Or you can take a single good for no cost. That gets added to your hand and replaced from the deck. Or you can take multiple goods from the face-up cards, but you have to exchange them with either camels from your herd or cards from your hand, or a selection of both. In this case, I'd like to take the three leather, and in doing so, I have to replace them with something. In this case, I will replace them with three camels I took earlier. Now, when trading goods to the market, you choose which good in your hand you would like to trade in. You can only trade in one good in any one turn. In this case, I will trade in my four leather. In doing so, I add them to the discard pile and I take the first four tokens for leather, starting with the highest value. Also, if you trade in three or more of any one good, you receive a bonus token from one of these piles. Three, four, or five. In this case, because I traded in four leather, I get a four bonus tile, and the points for that are hidden until the end of the round. If I want to trade in the three valuable goods, so either diamonds, gold or silver, I have to trade in at least two cards at any time. I can never trade in one card for the higher value goods. However, you can do that for the lesser goods. The round ends when either three of the good piles are depleted in terms of tokens, or the deck runs out. Once the round ends, each player adds up the number of rupees they have scored for that round based on the value on the back of each coin. The player with the largest camel herd also receives five bonus points for having the largest herd. Whoever has the most points at the end of the round receives a seal of excellence from the Maharaja. You then continue into the second round and possibly third. The game ends when one player has received two seals of excellence from the Maharaja. The only other rule that you need to know is that there is a hand limit of seven. You can never have more than seven cards in your hand at the end of your turn. And that is how you play Jaipur.